You all have a good weekend. We're basically waiting for price to break out of uh, gold or um, GJ, although really I'm looking for a rejection up here on GJ based on the supply. Gold is making its second attempt at the lower zone. If that gold keeps pushing, I may take it. I may take it. I may take it. I think I will go in. I'm going to go in, guys, on gold. All right. I'm going to move. I'm going to have my stop above the red candle there. I'm basically going based on the MTS. It hasn't broken the low yet, but it's got the momentum. And it's got the four hour, the one hour, everything is lining up. Let me see, what is the 15 minute? That is still a 15 minute candle. So based on the 15 minute candle, I'm gonna use that same 15 minute candle as my stop. All right, 2.5, 3.2, ooh, 9.9, 9.8. All right, here comes another push. Let's see if it can go through. There you go, there you go. Wow, there you go, 22 pips. 22 pips. I took a chunk out of that, took another chunk, and my stop loss to break even. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You know what? That's a chunk of money I still have left there. I'm going to take more of it out. <laughs> That's a big old move. That was a 2%er right there, guys. Wow. 25 pips still left, and I still have a chunk of money. Let me take some more of that out. Okay. Oh my gosh, 27, there you go. Hope you guys took advantage of that. Anybody else take that MTS? Good job, Matt. Yeah, that was a two percenter right there, beautiful. That's a good way to start the week. Well, Matt got here just in time. Matt showed up, made his money, and now he's, now he's ready to go to bed. And does everybody understand why I took that trade? Just wanna make sure we're on the same page. I know Matt understands, obviously he took it. Does everybody else understand why I took that trade and why that was a trade based on edge? Okay, yeah, The this is my process. Um, gold is pushing to from the top and it's coming into the breakout line. I always remember the first line is the breakout line. The second one is for the zone. This is the breakout line. All right, let's, let's open this up. Looks like GJ's too rejecting up there. So this is the breakout line and this is the line that I create for the zone. This is in a second attempt. This is the first attempt at breakout. Remember, if we go back over here to the setup from last night, the setup was like this. That's how the setup was. And it made its first attempt at breakout. It couldn't break. It pulled back. Now it's coming for a second attempt at breakout. And that's why I went up to the four hour, the four hour bearish, one hour bearish, 30 minute bearish. So I took it based on the momentum of the multi time frame confluence, the MTS. All right. I also know, I also know that it has not yet broken out. So this impulse move, like the first impulse move was like 9.9 .9 pips. I would have taken that. It was a little too quick for me. I would have taken that 9.9. .9. And then the next move that it did, I mean, I looked away for just a second and I pulled up my eyes and it's 22 pips in profit. So I'm not holding this. Anytime you do a breakout move, anytime you grab a breakout move like this, I'm not holding this because there's no breakout yet happened. Nothing is closed below. So I'm not of the mind that this is just going to keep coming down here. It could, it has in the past, you know, if it keeps going and we make all that profit, fantastic, but it's not likely because it hasn't closed outside. So I'm just taking that impulse. I'm in for the impulse. Got the impulse, took a chunk, moved my stop loss to break even. That's that. Nos veremos entonces. I'll see you guys in class tonight, okay? That's it for today. God's blessings to everybody.
Bye-bye.